Hey everyone, this is TG from ToyGander.com and today we're going to review some custom video game minifigures. So let's go ahead and take a gander. Before we get started, I want to say I got these figures from minifigs.me and one thing that's unique about them is they print on actual Lego minifigures or Lego pieces. So it's a true custom minifigure. And I don't know how they do it, some type of wizardry, but regardless of that, be sure to check them out and I will put a link in the description below. All right, let's kick this thing off by opening up Kratos from God of War. I will say that I've never played a God of War game, but when I saw this figure on their website, I thought to myself I had to have it mainly because they nailed the look of Kratos in Lego form I mean if you if you look at the head the head to me really stands out I love that iconic scar over his eye the detail on the torso is fantastic they even have some stitch work on the bottom half there and the tattered cloth goes all the way down here and all the way through the sides just a fantastic looking figure I love the side printing on the arms. They really took their time and did this one very well. And the part that I really, really enjoy are these swords. Now I know he has, I think they are attached through a chain in the video game, but honestly, this does it justice just how it is. And it's probably pretty top heavy, but he does stand on his own. All right, let's move on to the next one. Next one we have is Laura Croft from the Tomb Raider series. Now I played some of the original ones, and this one stands out. This is an iconic figure. Everyone knows Laura Croft, and they did a great job. It's It looks like Laura Croft should have been a Lego minifigure a long time ago. I mean, all the pieces just fit very appropriately together on this figure. I love the backpack that they did on here. Very detailed. A lot of nice shading on the back here. I like the fact that they took the print, wrapped it completely around the legs, and even on the sides. Just a great job. Then these pistols fit perfectly as far as the character goes, and so does the hair. Just a really, really nice character, and I love how they executed this one. Next up is Gordon Freeman, and anytime I see this character, I always want to say Morgan Freeman. That's just my broken brain, but uh, you guys know this character from the Half-Life series. They did a great job doing this character. Looking on the back, just a, I love the intricacies that they have in the back here with the detail. The oranges stand out very nicely against the gray. I like the fact that they chose a gray body and didn't try to do it on like a black body because it, it, it very easily could have turned into that. But uh, some great printing on the back here. The one wish I, I would have liked is maybe did some printing on the side like they did with some of the other characters. It is forgivable considering how much ink they actually used on here, especially when you get to the detail on this. Uh, on the front, there's a little Half-Life symbol right there. He does include a crowbar, and if you've ever played the game, you know exactly what this is about. And looking at him, he does kind of remind me of the Breaking Bad character, Brian uh, Cranston. He just looks very much like that character. But great job, guys. Great job executing on this one. And here are the characters together. Time for a few shoutouts, Bricknatic, The Diamond Man 009, Jeremy Maya, Michael Ramirez, The Sci-Fi Geek, Sagios, and Emoji Ethan, here is a thumbs up to you. Thank you so much for watching Toy Gander, and guys, it's that time of the show, there is one character somewhere on the screen that is just not quite right. The first person to find out which character that is and puts it in the comments below, I will give you a shoutout in the next video I do. Thank you so much, guys, for clicking that thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, you can help us take a gander.